The biggest mistake that guys make when they find out that their wife is cheating on them is they go online and they try to find advice. The problem with that is, is that they're going to try to teach you how to manipulate the person who is now manipulating you. Now, when somebody is in a betrayal situation, they are having an emotional addiction and they're going to act like an addict acts. They're going to act like an alcoholic or a narcissist. It doesn't mean the person's narcissistic. It just means they're going through a narcissistic phase. And that is something that can go up or down depending on life circumstances. And they have to do this because that's what's allowing them to justify the situation. In other words, they have to be able to blame everything on external circumstances instead of looking at themselves and saying, yeah, this is something that I need to handle within me. And since they're going and using something external to figure that out, they can't look within because then they would see how bad that they're doing it. So if you're in a situation like this and you're dealing with somebody like that, the worst thing you can do is try to convince them or force them to go to marriage counseling because they don't want to do it. They'll begrudgingly do it. And then you'll give her the excuse of, well, I tried. I did everything. I went to marriage counseling and it just didn't work. And so what ends up happening is usually you'll get into the marriage counselor and she'll try to get the marriage counsel on her side to justify all her actions. And then I get two against one. Not only that, one of them is a professional and now you're the wrong guy and everything gets heaped up and blamed on you. So if you're in a situation where you're getting everything blamed on you, let me know what's going on. Maybe we can turn this around.